Good evening, my name is Kayla Peard and I'm the Director of Instrumental Music at Falmouth High School. I'm happy to welcome you tonight to our Instrumental Music Spring Showcase brought to you virtually. I'm so proud of all of our students this year and what they've managed to accomplish. Um, it's been a year that I never would have dreamed of in the study of music and I know the students never would have thought of that as well. Um, we were outside playing against the weather in the fall. We were inside with no playing during the winter. And then in February, we were able to start playing inside. We've dealt with schedule changes, remote days. We've also dealt with students who have never been in person at all this year. On May 3rd, we were allowed to bring both of our cohorts together and have nearly all students together in the same room at the same time. We've had two weeks to work on our pieces They've been recorded against backing tracks at home with students individually um, playing their parts. And so as you listen tonight, I want you to think of the successes our students have managed to do. They are playing dynamics, articulations, um, attempting to balance with a backing track and not with the rest of the members of their class. So I want us to think of that there will be times when it might fall apart a little bit, where it might separate, but then it comes back together and settles right back in. And that's the, the job of the conductor, which is what I normally do when I'm on stage. But this year I've had to be a silent partner in the conducting aspect um, for the performances. So I hope you enjoy tonight. We have all of our ensembles, symphony band, uh, wind ensemble, chamber ensemble, and jazz band, which will be bringing the pieces that they've been working on and each piece will be presented by students reading program notes to explain what the pieces are about. So once again, I hope you find joy in this presentation just like I have and been able to have our students at least work together to create this product. Enjoy. My name is Connor Drew. I'm a junior trombone play. Race Against Time was composed by Rob Romian in 2011. It is inspired by the mythical lost civilization of Atlantis and has captured the imagination of generations. This pro programmatic works brings the musical world to life. Beautiful melodies and stark musical contrast generate bold drama and describe the island nation that existed over 11,000 years ago. The mists the midst of the Atlantic Ocean Race Against Time depicts the fateful climatic day in which Atlantis, its people, and its humanity were swallowed by the sea.
Hi, my name is Skylar Dell, and I'm a freshman trumpet player. Three Years from Gloucester was completed by Hugh M. Stewart in 1969. The composer had a distinct passion for 10th century couplets. The Three Years from Gloucester came into being as a result of Stewart's fascination with the old 10th century couplet. There was no one quite so comely as the Jolly Arrow Tremundley. The piece was specifically written to emulate the early styles of the English folk song. The work air derives from a French word meaning air decor, translation being air courtyard. Now put into perspective, the piece is about three courtyards from Gloucester. It is uncertain if this is the definition that Stuart attended, because he could have attended the more common use of the term, which was a soul son that was through composed in a light merry tune. The three movements are the Jolly Arrow Chunley, Air for Eventide, and the Feast of Wembley.
My name is Hannah Irving and I'm a sophomore percussionist. My name is Lauren McCann and I'm a sophomore Barry sax player. A Gale Force Winds was composed by Richard Saucedo. A gale, simply put, is a very strong wind. There are conflicting definitions of how strong a wind must be to be considered a gale force. The U.S. National Weather Service defines a gale as 34 to 47 knots or 39 to 54 miles per hour of sustained surface winds. Forecasters typically issue gale warnings when winds of this strength are expected. The National Hurricane Center uses the term gale to refer to winds of tropical force for coast areas. On the Beaufort wind scale, a gale is classified as a moderate gale, fresh gale, strong gale, and a whole gale. A gale is a type of wind description preceded by calm, light air, light breeze, gentle breeze, moderate breeze, fresh breeze, strong breeze, and succeeded by storm, violent storm, and hurricane on a Beaufort wind scale. Of gale force winds is based around rhythmic figures that create a wind-like effect along with the very playful melody heard throughout the work. The piece alternates between 6-8 and 9-8 and stays rhythmically active throughout with the one exception of a very short moment of repose which is meant to hint at a calm moment that often comes before the middle or eye of bigger storms. At one point, the piece deviates from the 6-8 and 9-8 field to produce what might be considered a more turbulent part of the storm, represented by darker sounding figures in more of a 4-4 feel. The piece then concludes with a long dominant harmonic that feel that finally resolves in the last bar of the piece.
Hi, my name is Austin Lewis and I'm a senior flute player. My name is Kayla Reardon. I'm a senior bass clarinet player. Down in the River was composed by Jay Bocook in 2017. The original melody, first presented by the clarinets, is based on Down in the River to Pray, which emerged as an African-American spiritual in the mid-19th century. The exact roots are unknown, but the melody has since been featured in countless hymnals, spiritual collections, and movie soundtracks, most notably in the feature film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Slaves sang the spiritual as a prayer for guidance as they navigated their escape through the Underground Railroad. They would travel in the river because the water master sent from slave master's dogs attempting to track them down. In this setting, Down on the River to Pray is initially heard as a tender chorale, first in the woodwinds, then by the full ensemble. The standard melody is elaborated on through the use of suspensions, added chord tones, and rhythmic embellishments. After this inaugural statement of the theme comes to a close with a cadence in the tonic key of E-flat major, we quickly, we quickly transition to a tumultuous mozzo allegro section. Here, the music is fully composed, but still built upon the foundation of the original melody through the use of a three-note fragment, so la do, generated from an intervals for, for down in the river to pray. This three-note theme gradually develops into its own eight-bar melody, which is then maneuvered through several key changes, time changes, and color changes as a result of adjustments to the orchestration. All of these compositional devices help to create significant feelings of tension and release throughout the middle section of the work. Piece by piece, the original melody begins to reappear until Down in the River to Pray is finally heard intact and builds into one last triumphant statement of the, of the theme in B-flat major. A brief yet powerful coda brings the work to a majestic conclusion. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Kylie Morris, and I am a sophomore violin player. Elliot Del Bargo was born in 1938 and passed away in 2013. He was an American composer and music educator. He attended the Philadelphia Conservatory of Music for his master's degree and studied under Gilbert Johnson on trumpet and Vincent Persichetti for composition. He later went on to teach at the Crane School of Music and has composed over 600 pieces in his career. One of his pieces was also used in the closing ceremony of the Lake Placid Winter Olympics in 1980. Fantasia for Strings by Del Bargo is an energetic piece in familiar ABA form. The first section is vigorous with a rhythmic pulse at its core. The middle section is a contrast with a melodic statement carried by the first violence. A reprise of the first section and a strong ending completes this interesting work.
Hi, my name is Tegan Lind and I'm a freshman piano player. Pachelbel's Canon is an accompanied canon by the German Baroque composer Johann Pachelbel. It is sometimes called Canon in Guiche or D or Canon in D. Neither the date nor the circumstances of its composition are known, though the suggested dates range from 1680 to 1706, and the oldest surviving manuscript copy of the pieces dates from the 19th century. Like his other works, Pachelbel's canon went out of style and remained in obscurity for centuries. A 1968 arrangement and recording of it by the Jean Francois Balliard Chamber Orchestra gained popularity over the next decade. And in the 1970s, the piece began to be recorded by many assemblies. By the early 1980s, its presence as background music was deemed inescapable. From the 1970s onward, elements of the piece, especially in its chord progressions, were used in a variety of pop songs. Since the 1980s, it has also been frequently used in weddings and funeral ceremonies in the Western world. Tonight's arrangement is for strings and piano by John Caponegro. My name is Katie McGann and I'm a senior bass player. Dvorak's masterpiece, New World Symphony, was written in 1893, the same year that American String Quartet was written. The most famous of his symphonies endears itself to audiences through the folk character and simplicity of its melodies and rhythms. The tunes and motives are reminiscent of the American folk styles that Dvorak was exploring while visiting the U.S. and of bohemian folk style that he knew so well from his Czech home. Musically rich and technically approachable, this arrangement is a sampler for young musicians. Three of the four movements from the symphony are represented. Please enjoy themes from the New World Symphony composed by Antoine Dvorak and arranged by Carrie Lane Grussell.
name is Hadley Smith and I'm a sophomore violin player. Blue Ridge Reel was inspired by a visit to Asheville for the National Convention of the American Band Directors Association. The composer, Brian Balmages, was taken with the fun vibe of the town located in the mountains of North Carolina. During the trip, he had an opportunity to hear several bluegrass bands, including a great performance during dinner and a special tour of Biltmore Estate. Many influences in the region come from the rich cultures of England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. The title, Blue Ridge Reel, pays homage to the Blue Ridge Mountains. While influenced by the form and style of a traditional Irish reel, the music certainly heads in some contemporary directions as it seeks to mix the modern feel of a city like Asheville with its deeply ingrained musical roots. It is also deeply influenced by the untimely passing of Davidson College mathematics professor Robert Whitten, a music lover and major supporter of local musicians. Shortly after his passing, over 100 friends and family gathered in downtown Davidson to participate in a New Orleans style march th through the city. Thus, this piece ties together the spirit of that New Orleans march with Balmage's own personal bluegrass experiences in Asheville. Thank you. When it was announced that on May 3rd, our high school would be coming back in person, we started to compare our cohorts and realized very quickly for jazz band that every student would be in person except for one. This enabled us to treat the jazz band portion of this program slightly differently. Last Friday, all of the students except our one remote student showed up to class and we recorded the following three pieces for you. We then had our remote student record his parts at home and thanks to Mr. Bradley Conan, our percussion instructor, we were able to merge the two together. You will notice that it was it's going to be slightly different than the previous ensembles you've listened to. And this is where the live aspect comes in and the part that we train for. The students are able to adjust to each other. 
They're able to now balance and hear what's happening in the room. They can speed up and slow down together. And I'm also there off camera helping in case they need me. So I hope you enjoy our jazz band portion with as close as we've been able to play live since we were last at our MAJE festival last March before this all started. My name is Siobhan Morris and I'm a senior trombone player. Footprints is a jazz standard composed by saxophonist Wayne Shorter and recorded for his 1967 album, Adam's Apple. However, the first commercial release of the song was a different recording of the 1967 Miles Davis album, Miles Smiles. It is considered a jazz standard, although often written in 3-4 or 6-8, it is not a jazz waltz because the feel alternates between simple meter and compound meter. This arrangement we are playing tonight is by Mike Tomorrow and will feature junior Aiden Colucci on guitar, senior Katrina Wilson on trumpet, and senior Max Carell on Barry sax.
My name is Milo Van Moy, and I'm a junior alto saxophone player. My name is Sophia Kolpus, and I am a sophomore tenor sax player. Theme for Bill by Mike Tomorrow was commissioned by the Northwestern State University Jazz Orchestra in honor of trumpet player Bill Causey, who was the owner of the Bandhouse Music Stores in Louisiana. It is a straight eighth ballad featuring short solos for the lead horns and solos for the horn sections. After a short introduction, the band settled into a groove that will allow the soloist to be showcased. This piece will feature freshman Alex Tang on piano and three of our graduating seniors, Katrina Wilson on trumpet, Siobhan Morris on trombone, and Zach Morris on alto sax.
My name is Max Carell and I'm a senior baritone sax player. Uh, Coconut Champagne was composed in 1982 by Dennis de Blasio, an educator and a superb baritone saxophonist who performed with the Maynard Ferguson Big Band. It is composed in a jazz samba style and the arrangement tonight we are playing is arranged by Victor Lopez. It will feature a saxophone soli and alto sax solos by junior Milo Van Moy and senior Zach Morris. It will also fe feature senior Kyle Edwards on drums. It is a driving and powerful chart. Enjoy Coconut Champagne.
Thank you for joining us this evening. We hope that you enjoyed what we presented for you and found some joy in it. We also hope that you have a safe spring and summer, and we're looking forward to a more normal fall. Have a great night.